Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And Russia told to mobilize to inflict maximum harm on West in response to the sanctions. At least this is coming from Medvedev, the former prime minister of Russia. Uh, he is speaking out on these things here. One Russia's top security officials called on Thursday for Russia to mobilize to inflict maximum harm on Western society's infrastructures as payback for increasingly tough sanctions being imposed on Moscow by U.S. and its allies. The statement, according to this article by Dmitry Medvedev, the deputy chairman of Russian Security Councilor and Vladimir Putin's predecessor as president, came as the West sharply escalated sanctions on Moscow in an effort to degrade its ability to wage war in Ukraine. Uh, you know, it's kind of interesting, like it says, it's, it's ability to wage war in Ukraine, right? Well, you remember I told you some time back that the way that uh, Ukraine now uh, gets its soldiers is by kidnapping them off the streets. Well, that might seem like it's an impossibility, but here's you an actual <laughs> event here where in Ukraine, they are kidnapping a man who's got a child left at home with no one to tend to that child. Watch what happens here. Luckily, they're able to get him free, not by force, but he is fighting for his life to keep from being taken by Ukrainian military there to the front lines. By the way, he's screaming that he has a child at home, uh, all alone, and they're still trying to force him in. Notice their Nazi insignia there on his right shoulder, that one guy soldier there without the soldier pants on him there. But he's able to get free from them this time, but many men are not so lucky. This is what I've been told as it happens in Ukraine quite frequently. They are kidnapped and taken to the front lines, dropped off with normally just a rifle and nothing else. Their life expectancy is only hours on the front lines with Russian forces, with in many cases with absolutely no training at all. Another appalling thing that I saw here as well, Charles sent me this one here. I believe it was Charles sent me this here. This man, this uh, office here, sir, is responding this. to uh, a man's plea because I believe this happened in Oregon. Yes, in Oregon, uh, a man naked came up to his two-year-old son. He called the police, and this was the police's response to the man that had a two-year-old that this naked man showed State of up Oregon, in front of. Someone can walk up in to, to your two-year-old kid completely bare naked, and that's not a crime? Even if it's on your property? Correct. Well, so it's trespassing, but what I'm saying is there's no laws against the, the actual nudity portion of it. So, so you can expose yourself to children in Oregon. Again, if if you're not doing it for sexual gratification, or the gratification of somebody else, yes, you are allowed to walk around in public naked. On private property, this is where I live, and someone just came and exposed themselves to my two-year-old boy, and right. this officer is saying that it's not a crime. So a naked person came up onto my property here, approached my two-year-old kid, completely naked, which I ran over to him and covered his eyes so he wouldn't see. My obvious thought is to call 911 as someone's indecently exposing themselves to my child on my property. At what point did this become a normal and acceptable thing to do? The cops will literally do nothing about it. They're basically saying we have to wait for that person to do something more serious to your kid before we can intervene. Other than trespassing, I would have definitely had the warning given for trespass because if he comes back again, they can't arrest him at that point there. You're just going to have to use loopholes in the law as much as you possibly can when you got such perverts. But I'm sure there are ways you could deter the naked man from ever wanting to come back on your property again. Hmm. Anyway, we'll leave it at that. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you, and we will talk to you guys first thing in the morning. God bless you.